So OpenAI, one of the most influential AI research labs in the world, just held its first developer event. And they made some massive announcements that could change the AI landscape forever. Honestly, I'm still trying to wrap my head around everything they revealed but I'm going to do my best to break it down for you in this video. But before we get into OpenAI's latest developments, please remember to subscribe to my channel to stay updated on AI news. Also, a huge thanks for the 80,000 subscribers. We're truly thankful for your support and hope it keeps growing. First of all, let's talk about some of the milestones that OpenAI has achieved with its products and services. ChatGPT now has over 100 million weekly users, making it the most popular AI application in the world. And that's not all. OpenAI also has over 2 million developers building on its API, which gives access to its powerful models like GPT-4, DALL-E, and Whisper. And according to OpenAI, over 92% of Fortune 500 companies are using its API for various use cases such as customer service, content creation, education, and more. That's a huge testament to the impact and value of OpenAI's technology. But the company is not resting on its laurels. They are constantly pushing the boundaries of AI research and innovation, and they have some exciting new products and features to show for it. One of the biggest announcements they made at the event was the introduction of GPT-4 Turbo, the successor of GPT-4, which is already one of the most advanced language models in the world. GPT-4 Turbo is even more capable, faster, and cheaper than GPT-4, and it has some amazing new features. It comes in two versions, one for just text analysis and one for text image understanding. The text image version can generate images from text descriptions or vice versa using the same model. And the pricing model is also very attractive. GPT-4 Turbo is priced at one cent per 1,000 input tokens and three cents per 1,000 output tokens for the text only version and $0.00765 for processing a 1080x 1080 pixels image for the text image version. That's a lot cheaper than GPT-4, which costs three cents per 1,000 input tokens and six cents per 1,000 output tokens. And the best part is GPT-4 Turbo has a context window of 128,000 tokens, or roughly 100,000 words, which is four times more than GPT-4's context window. That means you can give GPT-4 Turbo much longer and more complex prompts, and get more coherent and relevant responses. It's quite the game-changer to be able to drop a whole book into a prompt in one go, literally. And unlike GPT-4, which has a knowledge cutoff of September 2021, GPT-4 Turbo has a knowledge cutoff of April 2023, which means it's more up to date with the latest information and events. That's a huge improvement, and I can't wait to try it out. Another big announcement that OpenAI made was the ability for users to create their own versions of GPT for specific purposes, without any coding. They call these personalized GPTs, and they are basically customized AI assistants that can do anything you want them to do. For example, you can create a GPT that can help you learn the rules of any board game, or teach your kids math, or design stickers, or whatever you can think of. You can make these GPTs by just chatting with ChatGPT and giving it instructions and extra knowledge and picking what it can do, like searching the web, making images, or analyzing data. And the best part is, you can share these GPTs with others, or even monetize them. Yes, OpenAI is planning to launch a GPT store later this month where you can publish your GPTs and let other people use them. And in the coming months, you'll also be able to earn money based on how many people are using your GPT. That's pretty awesome, right? Imagine the possibilities and opportunities that this could create for developers and businesses. You could build your own niche AI products and services and reach a huge audience of potential customers. Or you could use other people's GPTs to enhance your own applications and workflows. The GPT store could be a game changer for the AI industry, and I'm really excited to see what people will come up with. Now, OpenAI has also introduced something quite exciting for developers, a new assistance API. This is essentially a way for developers to embed their own AI-driven assistant experiences within their applications. An assistant is like a digital helper, powered by AI, that responds to user questions and commands using a combination of programming, models, tools, and knowledge. Right now, the assistant's API comes with three specialized tools. The first one, the code interpreter, lets the AI write and run Python code within a safe, controlled environment. Then there's the retrieval tool, which can sift through vast amounts of documents and files to find information. Lastly, 
The function calling tool lets the assistant use other companies' APIs and services. With these capabilities, developers can craft assistants that do a wide range of tasks, like assisting with code, digging up needed information, or linking with other applications to carry out tasks. You could, for example, create an assistant that helps you book flights, order groceries online, or pick up a new language. Currently, the assistant's API is in its beta phase but is accessible to anyone who has an account with OpenAI's API. And, as if that wasn't enough, they also released the DAL-E3 API, which is the latest version of its text-to-image model. DAL-E3 is an improvement over DAL-E2 which was already a very impressive model that could generate images from text descriptions. But now it can generate text and images, support landscape and portrait images, generate significantly more attractive and detailed images, and understand complex prompts. Like if you ask it to generate an image of a person holding a banana, it will not only draw the person in the banana, but also write the name of the person and the type of the banana on the image. And the DAL E3 API is also very affordable. It costs four cents per generated image, which is a lot cheaper than some other image generation services out there. DAL E3 is a very powerful and versatile model, and I can see it being used for a lot of creative and practical applications. Besides DAL E3, OpenAI also introduced a new text to speech API called Audio API, which can generate natural sounding voices from text. This API gives you the ability to use two advanced AI models to create speech, and it comes with six different built-in voice options. Alloy, Echo, Fable, Onyx, Nova, and Shimmer. These voices can be used for a variety of audio projects, like producing podcasts, narrating audiobooks, or doing voiceovers for videos. Did you know that Alexander Graham Bell, the eminent inventor, was enchanted by the world of sounds? The cost for using this service is set at $0.015 for every 1,000 characters of text you want to convert into speech, which is quite a good deal considering the high quality of the voices. As the golden sun dips below the horizon, casting long shadows across the tranquil meadow. The Audio API is a great addition to OpenAI's portfolio of products, and it could have a huge impact on the audio industry. Now, it caught quite a few people off guard when Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft, showed up unannounced at OpenAI's big reveal. He was there to express his enthusiasm about the new path OpenAI is taking and the innovative products they're rolling out. He spoke about how integral Microsoft's Azure Cloud platform has been in supporting OpenAI's advanced AI computing systems. Moreover, he highlighted the integration of OpenAI's technology into Microsoft's products aimed at both consumers and businesses, like GitHub Copilot and Microsoft Designer. Nadella teased potential future partnerships and deeper integration between Microsoft and OpenAI, which should be fascinating to watch unfold. Microsoft clearly regards OpenAI as a crucial partner in the realm of artificial intelligence, and they're investing significantly in OpenAI's continued growth. But they are not alone in this arena. They face stiff competition from other tech giants like Google, Facebook, and Amazon, all of whom are also pushing the boundaries with their generative AI technologies. However, OpenAI's CEO, Sam Altman, embraces this rivalry. He believes that progress in AI is best achieved when various independent entities contribute to the research and development. Altman is confident in OpenAI's team, their technological edge, and their overarching vision within the AI landscape. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video, so don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to stay updated on all my future uploads. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.